Welcome everyone to this, our service for Sunday the 17th of May, the 6th Sunday of Easter. If you'd like a copy of the order of service, then it is available by email. Please contact our Benefits Administrator, Fleur Harris. If you don't have a copy, please don't worry and just enjoy the service as it is. So let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and also, also with you. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He, he is, is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. We pray together. Almighty God, God to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the collect, the special prayer for this day, the sixth Sunday of Easter. Let us pray. God, our Redeemer, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as by his death he has recalled us to life, so by his continual presence in us he may raise us to eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 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 And now we are moving straight to our Gospel reading. There's no first reading. And here is Bev to read it for us. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the first and the last, says the Lord, and the living one. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Alleluia. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, if you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the Spirit of Truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you, and he will be in you. I will not leave you orphaned, I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live. You also will live. On that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Those who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me. And those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. Christ. May I speak in the name of the living God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Today's Gospel reading follows on directly from last week's. Jesus is comforting and encouraging his anxious disciples, helping them to come to terms with the knowledge that he will be leaving them. He tells them that he will ask the Father to send them another helper, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, meaning the true and trustworthy Spirit. Jesus also describes the Spirit as an advocate, and this translates a Greek word that comes from the law courts, which is why it's translated this way. An advocate is one who speaks for or on behalf of others in their defence. But for the Gospel writer, it has a far wider meaning, this word. It can also be translated as comforter, as it is in the Old King James Bible, or consoler, counsellor, helper, intercessor, intermediary. It's a word of great depth and richness. The Greek literally means one who is called alongside, or if you like, one who is called to our side. So Jesus says the Holy Spirit comes to guide us, to support, comfort and console. But as we learn elsewhere in the Bible, the Spirit also comes to fire us and challenge us. Jesus says to his disciples, I will not leave you orphaned, I am coming to you. In part, he's telling them that he will return after he's risen from the dead. Not that they can understand this now, 
but he's also saying that he will be an abiding presence, what our collect today calls a continuing presence with his followers, with all his followers, not just the disciples, but us too. Through the Holy Spirit, the go-between God, as he's been called, Jesus becomes present to us. In verses 20 and 21 he says, On that day you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. Take a moment to see just how extraordinary this is. The Father and the Son mutually dwelling in and with each other in the power of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity of Father, Son and Holy Spirit will come, does come, to make their home in us. This is astonishing. Whether we know it or not, whether we fully believe it or not, even in this life we can begin to be one with God. The challenge for us all is to try to make this real in our frail, sinful and often very self-limiting lives. As we seek to do this, however feebly or uncertainly we try, the Spirit, the Advocate, the one who comes alongside us, by our side, is here to guide us. Amen. Amen. And now we have our prayers led by Robert. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, you have promised to be with us. Free us from anxiety and help us to know that you come alongside us through the Holy Spirit. We pray for all who find it hard to know you are close all who feel forsaken, and for all who are longing to know your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. Amen. Lord, we pray for countries still racked with violence, where the virus is just one of many dangers. We pray for the most vulnerable, for refugees, for the elderly, for mothers and children. We pray for all who are exploited and abused. May your spirit enable us to live more simply and to revere your creation. May your indwelling presence bring peace to our homes, our relationships and our communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord, we pray for world leaders and for all in positions of leadership, for our government and parliament, for all who run our hospitals and care homes and for our local health centre, for Drummonds and St Dominic's and for our two schools. Help them to bear their responsibilities so they can provide the care that is needed. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord, we pray for all who are ill and for those who care for them, for those who are lonely and isolated or worried about the future. May your Holy Spirit comfort and support all who are fearful or struggling. And in a moment of silence, we bring before you those known to us. May your healing love surround and comfort all who are in need. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Lord, we remember all who have died recently, including Margaret Grant, Doris Harper, Iris Martin, Andy Pointing, and John Saudi. And we pray for all who mourn them. We remember too those whose year's mind occurs around this time. Prue Williams, David Shreve, Muriel Farley, Mary Elliott, David Openshaw, Jenny Elliott, George Lucy, Laura Bones, Barry Flannery, Reginald Lines, and Joe Sibley. May they rest in peace and rise in glory. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Let us pray as our Saviour has taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And now our prayers of confession. As we come to our risen Lord, let us know that he offers us the Father's forgiveness and peace. Lord Jesus, you raise us from living death to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, forgive us and free us from all our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your word and your peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May the Father forgive us by the death of his Son and strengthen us to live in the power of his Spirit all our days. Amen. Amen. And now we come to the spiritual communion part of our service. We say this prayer together. O loving, loving God, God, in union, union with, with Christian, Christian people throughout the world and across the centuries gathered to make Eucharist, hearing your holy word and receiving the precious body and blood of your dear Son, I offer you praise and thanksgiving. Even though I am exiled from tasting the bread of heaven and drinking the cup of life, I pray that you will unite me with all the baptized and with your Son who gave his life for us. Come, Lord Jesus, dwell in me and send your Holy Spirit that I may be filled with your presence. Lord Jesus, as the hem of your garment touched in faith healed the woman who could not touch your body, so may the souls of your servants be healed. For though we cannot receive you in the sacrament, we can, through this offering of our prayers, receive you in our hearts. Grant this for your sake. Amen. 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 We say together, Thanks, Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, for all the benefits you have given me, for all the pains and insults you have borne for me. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. O most merciful Redeemer, friend and brother, may I know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day. Amen. Now the blessing. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is, he is risen, risen indeed. indeed. Alleluia. Alleluia. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, make you perfect in every good work to do his will. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Abide in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Mm. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. alleluia.